every now and then, I wear a different pair of glasses. I have approximately five or more pairs. I don't keep track of them. Sometimes I like to have them sit in a case within a box somewhere in the office. Yeah. So, as of today, we're in these sort of metal and plastic combination of a frame. Not sure exactly what you would call it. And the funny thing is, I even once dreamed. I had a dream one night of wearing glasses with with a semi or somewhat transparent frame around the edges. <laughs> and here we are today. In fact, that very dream may have influenced the purchase of these very glasses. But in the meantime, I'm still waiting for that chip over there to finish sonicating so that we could attach it to this nice little square piece of a wafer made of silicon dioxide. And then we'll begin to do something that we call argon ion milling, otherwise known as ion beam etching, which is a pure momentum beam of, of a charged molecule of argon. So, yes, it's very inert and allows us to cut straight into a piece of material. If you were to focus that beam, then you would turn it into what is called a focused ion beam, FIB, which allows you to cut at a, on a microscopic level on a very specific region, like a small spot. It's kind of like laser cutting, except it's happening at very microscopic scales. And also you could somewhat observe it under certain conditions, like vacuum, like some kind of maybe a, a vacuum enclosure that a focus on beam machine would have. So I we might have one of those machines, not in this clean room, it would be in a different facility somewhere on the other side of this research campus. In the meantime, I thought I'd just uh, <laughs> talk and say something because I am here by myself. I'm, I'm not in here in the clean room by myself. It's not a whole lot of people around in the middle of the night. And it's, it's past 10 p.m. right now. Yeah, that's just how it is. Usually during times like this, I would end up going to the to different equipments that I have access to and try to learn a little bit more about some of its extra features. <laughs> you know, uh, like the great uh, Jorg Sprav would say, <clears throat> let me show you its features kind of thing. <laughs> Except I'll be showing myself what kind of software or maybe extra hardware features that the machine has. Maybe uh, one of those cryogenic electron microscope what what what, uh, what other updates might it have uh, i'll look at the log sheets and all but anyways yeah uh good times it's very peaceful in here other than the constant hum of the the the, the filtration system up in the ceiling that's all the way across the ceilings and some of the vacuum pumps here and there yeah other than that, it's relatively peaceful. Reminds me of another place that I know is quite peaceful. Arizona. <laughs> My home. So, thanks for tuning in with me once more. And I shall talk to you again soon. Take care.